Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Janice, creator of Pinoy Attack Dad. Today we're gonna check out a budget level ultrabook from Asus. So you guys will be happy with this. And this is actually a 2019 version. So we'll find out if you can still rely on this for your daily task in 2020. Now, before anything else, here's a quick unboxing. Alright, now that we've got that out of the way, here are the important specs that you need to know. While the Vivo Book 14 is made out of plastic, it still manages to look elegant. The transparent silver model that I have here looks minimalistic and doesn't stand out at all, which might be good for those who don't want too much attention. It has the Asus Ergolift feature which slightly tilts up the rear area for more airflow. It has an HD webcam found on its top bezel and we do get a decent amount of ports from an HDMI, USB-A, USB Type-C, a headphone and microphone combo jack and it even has a memory card reader as well. It also comes with a fingerprint scanner and lastly it's an ultrabook that weighs only 1.35 kilograms so in terms of physical features I'd say this should cover most of your daily needs. Now the keyboard feels really solid and they're quite nice to type with. They're not mushy but they're not clicky as well so they fit right smack in the middle when it comes to typing feel. The version that I got didn't have any lighting on its keys so you might need a table lamp when using this during nighttime. Next, let's talk about the display on this. The Vivo Book 14 has a 14 inch full HD anti glare display. And as nice as that sounds, or as fancy as that sounds, let me be honest with you guys. As to its display quality, let's just say if you're picky, this might not be the laptop for you. Just the slightest shift in viewing angle will cause you to see washed out colors. You really need to have the perfect viewing angle in order to see its good qualities and even so, you won't get accurate colors anyway. So I wouldn't recommend this for people who need to do color accurate work as this doesn't even come close to 100% sRGB. And I feel like Asus could have included a slightly better panel on this without increasing the price too much, but it is what it is. Besides, if you're doing color accurate work, Asus wasn't probably thinking of you or targeting you with a Vivo Book 14 anyway. However, if all you're gonna do on this is to type documents, do Excel sheets and other Microsoft Office tasks that don't require a color accurate display, then this is definitely worth considering. Now, as to watching videos, you'll still find them enjoyable as the images still do look sharp just as long as you're viewing it from the proper angle. With an Intel i5-8265U processor, the Vivo Book performs as it should at its price point, and that is like a mid-ranger at best. Now you're not gonna get blown away by its overall performance but if you just need something that you can use for regular work or school activities, this will pretty much get the job done. You can run Photoshop and even Premiere Pro on this but I wouldn't recommend it for those tasks as again the display isn't color accurate and number two for Premiere Pro you might find its power lacking. But for regular daily tasks like browsing, typing documents and similar activities, this will be able to handle those tasks without breaking a sweat. Now it comes with four gigabytes of RAM and that's a little bit lacking for 2020 so I would suggest that you upgrade it up to 8 gigabytes of RAM so you won't run out of memory especially if you have 20 tabs of Google Chrome running. Who does that? Storage wise you only get 256 gigabytes of space so you'll definitely need an external hard drive for this one as the 256 gigabytes of storage will run out in a heartbeat. Trust me on that. Now some of you might wonder if you can play games on the Vivo Book 14 and the answer is 
yes. The NVIDIA GeForce MX230 GPU can run a lot of games granted that you adjust their graphical settings to their low or medium settings. Now I was able to play a few Dota 2 games on it and surprisingly I didn't need to lower much of the settings as I was still able to run Dota 2 smoothly at 50 to 60 frames per second with graphic settings at high. However, I wouldn't recommend gaming on the VivoBook 14 for long hours as it really isn't designed to take a beating like that as it heats up real quick thanks to its very compact design where there is limited airflow. But it's really nice to know that you can play light games on this when taking a break from school or work activities. So thumbs up for that. I was able to regularly get around 5 hours of battery time with the Vivo Book 14 and I would have loved to get a few more hours of battery life with it considering its compact size but 5 hours is actually still a lot of time to be unplugged from a power source. As for charging, expect to charge your Vivo Book 14 from single digit battery percentage to 100% in around 2 hours and 13 minutes. This is absolutely targeted for gamers. However, as this has the specs of a beast, this can also be used for productivity like video editing, 3D rendering, and other intensive productivity programs. Now before anything else, let's appreciate the design on this. The ROG Strix G's simple yet elegant. Now, if you're looking for something that you can use for daily work or school activities, especially during these times, the Vivo Book 14 is something that you should consider. It's an ultrabook that is easy to carry around anywhere, and it has very thin display bezels and offers a good value price to performance wise. And you can even play some games when taking a break. Just bear in mind that at its price point, you won't get a good looking display. But other than that, this is a solid pick for the budget conscious student or employee. Now, if you want to get your own vivo book 14 i'll try to put the links in the description box anyway if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so you can watch more videos like this in the future that's it for today guys keep safe and have a great day